Dearborn Historical Museum and we are back again with another Make It Move video. We are using this book, Henry Ford for Kids by Ronald A. Rice, to teach kids about Henry Ford and his super cool inventions. In our last video, we learned about assembly lines by creating an assembly line at home with our families. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out on our YouTube page. Today we will be learning about Henry Ford's automotive plants and the people who worked there. Henry Ford needed more workers to keep up with demand. On January 5th, 1914, he announced that the Ford Motor Company would pay a minimum wage of $5 a day. This doesn't seem like much now, but at the time, people at the Ford Motor Company were only making $2.34 a day. Thousands of people from all over the world came to the Ford Motor Company's employment office for their chance to work for $5 a day. As a result, Model T's rolled off the assembly line in record numbers, and soon they produced up to 793 cars a day. In 1914, 71% of the company's employees were born outside of the United States. There were over 70 different languages and dialects spoken among workers. Workers worked at different Ford plants in the Metro Detroit area, including the Rouge River plant right here in Dearborn. Today we are going to create an employee badge like the ones that were issued to employees of the Ford Motor Company from 1912 to the late 1930s. To start, log on to our website, thedhm.com, and print out the badge activity. Here is our finished product. We've made an employee badge. Thank you for joining us today in completing this project. Join us next week, April 28th, for another Make It Move video.